What is going on guys? One more time bringing us a brand new Bush Gardens video. And in this video, we are gonna be talking about Halo Scream once again, three straight weeks of Halo Scream content because it's so much content. Like as soon as I finish making the video for one thing, they announce another and I'm like, all right, we got another video on the way. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the 2024 Halo Scream Haunted Houses. We got three returning and two new ones. And just like in last week's video, all my videos are starting to seem connected. I spoke about things in Fiend in the Fiends video that ended up kind of coming true in the uh, territory video. Now, we got that for the haunted houses. It's really exciting to go through this list of the five haunted houses for this year. But before we get into today's video, a couple things. Number one, my new single, Runaway, is out now wherever you listen to your music. So make sure to go stream that song. It's about touring the world with those you love. It's something that, as a musician, I really love the idea of just being able to tour the world with my music. I'm super excited for when that day comes. So that song is just kind of talking about looking ahead and visualizing that lifestyle. So go check out that song. Also, go check out the Patreon where you get exclusive content from me, a lot of Bush Gardens content there, Bush Gardens exclusive vlog that you cannot find here on the YouTube channel. It's one of my favorite vlogs, so go check that out. You guys, I will be at the Fiends Frenzy 5K run at the end of September. I'm super excited. It's actually my first ever marathon, and it's pretty exciting because for a lot of reasons for me to run my first marathon. If you're going to be there, let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't registered, go register. Love to see you there at the run, and that'll be a great experience. I'm super excited for it. Now that we got all that done, now it's time to hop into the video. I wanted to kind of talk about this before we go into the haunted houses. Now, I see a lot of people kind of discussing that we don't have as many haunted houses as we used to have. I'm torn on how I feel about it, and I kind of want to discuss this with you guys and get your guys' thoughts on it. So Bush Gardens in the past had a lot of haunted houses, maybe around seven. Now it's just five, and there's a lot of locations that we know they could still fit a haunted house. Here's my thing. You can get all haunted houses done if you buy the quick queue. Not everyone has the ability to go multiple times a year, and not everyone has the finance to do a quick queue because quick queues are like outrageously expensive. If you're not able to do the quick queue and you're only going to Bush Gardens once, I think the five haunted houses is better because it at least makes it somewhat feasible you might be able to get through all five in your one visit. But if you go even just seven, I mean, five is pushing it. But six or seven, you're really at a point where I'm not sure unless you buy a quick queue, you'd have the ability to go through all haunted houses because you see the lines. I mean, the lines for these haunted houses are crazy long. Like, I remember seeing the line for, like, Wish of the Woods last year. And I mean, that thing just went on and on and on. Every single haunted house just has an a very, very long line. So unless you buy the quick queue, there's not there's a chance you might not even get through all five. So if you're planning ahead for Hallow's Scream, go ahead and look at your quick queue prices now while you're planning in advance. So that's just my two cents. I would love for more haunted houses, but also I think it's good that it's at a number of five because it at least makes it feasible for those who can't do a quick queue and gives them time to be able to ride the rides, experience the territories, and do the haunted houses. So let me know what you guys think down below. Like I said, I'm kind of torn. I would love for more haunted houses, but I think it's kind of good where they're at with five. Let's talk about the five haunted houses that are going to be at Hallow Scream this year. Now, to start off, we're going to talk about the three that are revamped. So we got Killarney Diner Condemned. Killarney Diner is a fantastic haunted house located in Ireland. It's like a nice, like, 60s retro diner that, you know, had a pretty, uh, nasty outbreak. Now, last year, to me, it felt a little more contained than it had in years past. I feel like there were certain scenes missing, and there's some really cool moments in that it really gets you, like the car coming up. I like the little town scene. There's a strobe light scene that I don't remember. Either it wasn't working when I went last year or it just wasn't there. But I love the scene like where you actually walk through the diner. There's so many cool elements to this one. I hope they really do revamp it up a little bit because it's so good. It's so good. It's such a really cool original haunted house idea. And the ones in Ireland always typically are pretty solid. So I just hope that they really dress it up and that it feels like it's the full thing. Because I just remember last year walking through and it just felt like two seconds and I was through it. And I'm like, I don't remember this being longer. So I'm super excited for Killarney Diner coming back. I love the music as you're walking in and how it really sets the tone of the atmosphere. The colors are beautiful in there. It's, it's an awesome one. I just hope that, you know, it does get improved. Now, next has been my favorite over the past couple of years, Death Water Bayou Morte. Now, this one is insane because the way they're able to pull off certain effects is really cool. You had the snake room. Snakes, you know, 
when you have a lot of rooms with stuff that is hanging down, that, I mean, every haunted, you like, every haunted house has that. But, like, there's certain ones where they really use it in their favor more than others. And Death Water by you with the snakes that are hanging down. Part of you is like, I know these are all fake, but what if one's not? Like, what if one is just having a really bad day, it got stuck up there, and it's hanging down? That's just, like, a funny thought. I think it's really cool because this kind of builds off the festival style of Festa Italia. And it kind of builds on that Mardi Gras theme. And, you know, you got a lot of purple, yellow, and green. But one thing that they do in this haunted house, which is just absolutely fantastic it's the room where it's like you're walking through the swamp and when you do that with the fog look and the way like you literally cannot see beneath here and it's insane i know when i walk through it i'm like i haven't had someone jump out at me while in there before but it's such an easy way for someone just to be hiding there and jump out at you and scare you and i don't get scared easily i typically don't get scared in haunted houses but that is one where even when i'm expecting it they could jump out and scare me. So I love Death Water by you. I think it's so cool with like using like the, the way they do the makeup and the costumes. It's really cool. I was sad to see the circus one go because I mentioned in last week's video, clowns are amazing. We'll get to that later. Death Water by you has been a hit in my opinion for the past couple of years since they started it. And I love that, the fact that you can see some of the art of it as you ride the train around the park, which is always super cool. Love the design of this one. I love that it's tucked in the back of Festa Italia. It really feels hidden. It really feels secluded. Are you guys excited for Death Water by you to return? And does that swamp scene get you too? Now, last of the returning haunted houses is Lost Mines Bloodstone. We're digging a little bit deeper into the mines this time. Now, this is one that you need to do when it's nighttime. I would also say for Death Water Bayou, it helps to do that one at night because when you first walk into the Pompeii haunted house part, it's exposed to the light. So if you want the best experience, my recommendation, wait for it to get dark outside and then go. So focus on the inside ones like Killarney Diner. Those are the ones you want to do first because those are all inside. So that's another way to game plan as you go into House Cream this year. Do your inside haunted houses first and do the ones that are a hybrid of inside and outside scenes last. Lost Minds, I really loved this one last year. I thought the design was really cool. Kind of feel like you're kind of going into almost like the depths of the underworld in a in a way. And you have these miners that are cursed by the stones of the mine. I loved it. Like I said, when it's dark, you can't really see as much. The red light really kind of messes with your eyes and messes with your sensory abilities. And I thought it was just a fantastic new introduction into the haunted house lineup. It's one that your design can be simple and it's all about the follow through of the scare actors. And I really love it when Bush Gardens leaves it up to the scare actors to deliver a lot of the performance because I feel like that's going to get you more of the jump scare factor than so much to set pieces and the set design because when there is so much set design, it almost gives you the ability to be like, all right, there's definitely someone in here. Definitely something is going to happen in here. So it doesn't leave you out to be scared as much, but when it's more toned down, more simple, and you're almost like searching for like, wait, where is the point in which they can scare me? That's what I believe really kind of alley-oops the scare actors. And that's what Lost Minds provides is a simpler set design giving the scare actors an, an opportunity to really make the moment and scare you. Now, we're going to get into the new ones. First up, we got Monster Manor. Now, this is a really cool one. This is like an evil doctor and all of his weird evil creations over the years, all the different mutations he's caused into people that he's captured and ran experiments on. That's what Monster Manor is about. And I spoke a couple weeks ago about how they used to have the monster set up outside of Fiends in Abbey Stone. I think that'd be cool to bring some of those characters back here. I think maybe some characters, but definitely some props from Hallow Screen Past could appear in this haunted house. It doesn't say anything about that here in the description, but I believe that there is a chance possibly that there could be old house cream artifacts in this manner and we see old characters we might see stuff from dark side of the gardens or curse might see the wendigo you know a bunch of these different you know hallow scream characters and monsters i feel like this is kind of a place for them to really thrive and have their moments and nice little callbacks here and there you know we talked about the pirates and the vampires last week this could be a spot for them too in addition to the bash over in france and i really am excited for this one i think this one gives the scare actors a really cool opportunity because i feel like they're going to be able to I, I don't know anything about it but i just feel like just from the description here we're going to see a lot of scare actors have the opportunity to play iconic monsters of Halloween lore. And I think it's going to be really fun and really cool and really sick. And I'm hoping 
the best for this one. I am super excited. I think this coming back with Fiends, you kind of having that theme of evil doctor running experiments, Frankenstein, all this stuff. So it's a little bit of a callback, and I'm super excited that it's back, and I'm super excited to see where this goes. Maybe this is the version of The Vault, where we might get some callbacks to How the Screen Pass and some super original ideas as well. And last but not least, the clowns have returned Clown Town. In the description, it says, these clowns were deemed too scary for Fessa Italia, so they were cast out of the land. And where are they now? Who knows? But what we do know is that we got clowns back. I said last week, clowns are scary, clowns are terrifying, and clowns in the picture have chainsaws. Chainsaws are back with clowns. You got clowns and chainsaws. It's so good. In this reality of Clown Town, the clowns are the rulers of the land. We've been to their will. And so I'm super excited for clowns. You can't go wrong with clowns, especially if they're able to populate that haunted house. I mean, the clowns can just be unleashed in there. Clowns are the ones where they can just walk around open. They don't really have to hide behind anything and they can still scare you to death. That's the amazing part about clowns. I think clowns are something that aren't scary, but they're innately scary. It's super weird how that whole dichotomy of clowns works. I'm just super excited that we got clowns back because you guys heard in the last week's video how much I love it when they have clowns integrated. I wish they had a whole territory with clowns, but they have a haunted house and I'm super excited because I was sad. Like I said, I love Death Water Bayou, but I was kind of sad to see the clown one leave. But now we got both. Now we got the best of both worlds, as Hannah Montana would say. So I'm super excited for Clown Town to be here. I think it's going to be very grotesque, very circusy and i remember when they had like the whole like ringleader and the tent when you first walked into the old clown one i hope they bring that back i love that that was such a cool introduction to kind of line everybody up and then throw you into the haunted house that was such a cool introduction instead of it just being you just walk straight in it was almost like a whole theatrical performance and i really love that i would love to see that come back let me know guys in the comments down below which of these haunted houses are you most excited to experience this year? Are you more excited for the revamped ones or are you excited for the new ones? How the Scream is quickly approaching and it's just weeks away, guys. And there are three visits left on the Passport to Summer event for me. I'm going to be completing this this week and hopefully be attending the VIP event in early September. Hope to see some of you guys there. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys are doing on your Passport to Summer and will you guys be at the event as well? Hope to see some of you guys there and meet some of you guys there and talk to some of you guys there thank you all so much for watching today's video make sure to subscribe and already make sure to like this video if you enjoyed make sure that bell button down below so you're notified every single time i put a brand new video to the channel make sure to go stream my new song run away wherever you listen to your music make sure to go check out the patreon link in the description to check out a bunch of awesome exclusive bush gardens content in addition to a bush gardens exclusive vlog not found here on youtube thank you all for watching my name is will morse and i'm out peace take my hand we can get